Good morning. Welcome to Option Centers Thursday, 52622. Welcome everybody. If you're new here, go down to that bottom right hand corner, hit that Option Center logo and subscribe. We're gonna go through ES on multiple time frames. We have been tracking this thing for a long time. Um, looks like we're trying to enter a bear market. We come back out, we go back in. It's all according to that 20% rule, but uh, we're not really worried about that. We watch the day-by-day -day movements and place short-term swings in um, uh, day trade futures as well. So let's check it out. Yes, on the monthly, we have... What we think, we may be coming down to this 50% retracement from this. Um, we're looking for the 50% or the 60, 618. It doesn't have to get that far. We're at the 382 right now. Um, we've seen wave twos be uh, very shallow. We're looking for this to be a 1-2 possibly, or this just being the end of the run and we continue to head down in a bear market. We have to watch that as we go. We can't predict that um, by looking at everything. We do have indicators that say, hey, we're moving down. We crossed bearish on the monthly time frame, but uh, we have to continue to watch. Okay, on the weekly. What do we see on the weekly? We came into weekly demand. And we bounced off. We're certain to follow through a little bit on that bounce. So we'll see how far that goes. I don't think it's going to move very far. But uh, we'll see as soon as we start getting into different resistances. Going to the daily. Trend is my friend. All right. Same thing into daily demand. Also, we have these confluence of wedge. I guess support you'd consider that. Uh, the market was trying to break down multiple times. And if you look at, you know, different spots like these, like this, same thing. You know, it does appear that we might be doing the same thing. So I can't cross out that we're going to have a nice large bounce at this point. Um, we will be playing to the upside very gently. I, I actually took off my features this morning right before the GDP, I, did, I wasn't sure what we'd see there, but um, look at the daily, we're getting that crossover, okay? Doesn't mean we can't head back down, make a new divergence and head back up. Let me uh, put the uh, positive divergence here, just a slight one. And um, we had a low and then lower low up down here and then a low and a higher low here. So that's our, um, bullish divergence on the MACD. And if you noticed here, we had a slight bounce and came down lower, but made more divergences before we actually had lift off. So that's the same thing. We could just lift off from here. Uh, we could go lower before making a, um, before starting to gain a larger bounce. And we're kind of popping out of this area from the RSI. So we have to, again, we have to be careful. We have have to be on bounce watch. But on the lower time frame, let's go to 65 minute. And it, it's okay to just sit this one out, you guys. I'm going to be playing pro mostly futures. You know, I you can put some longer term um, possible calls on, but you have to hedge them if you're going to do that. If you start seeing price move down, you got to be able to hedge and get in and out. Just not sure that this thing's going to go up from here. So we're in this sort of channel here. It looks like an A, B, C. I'm not crazy about this uh, This move. It does not look impuls impulsive at all. So there's two things that I'm going to be looking for. Um, this to make this some sort of larger A down to B. And then a move up, so just like making a higher low, and then have a strong bounce, or that we end this move here, and we start to head down for a lower low, and then that's when we make another divergence, and we really start to, um, you know, pull the rubber band, and then we start our ascent for a large multi-week bounce. 
at that. I think that's more likely the scenario, but uh, we'll we'll have to keep watch of that. Now, as for this um, this bounce here, this is looking like we may had, you know, we could stop here at the options expected move. We do have some resistance here. And then we have, if we start to move higher, you know, we could try to go for that gap. I don't, I, I don't see how that's going to happen um, here, but you never know. Um, maybe between today and tomorrow, I, I will honestly be looking for, I, I might even um, start nibbling on some, uh, some puts for next week um, into as, as price ascends here. But we will be looking on a higher time frame to see if, um, we get to, let's see, let me go back. That 20 day moving average is at 40.28. And that coincides, you know, the 20 day moving average coincides right here with the um, the options expected move. That um, 20 day moving average, the price has not touched it as we've gone down. And, and I can put that on the screen here. I was looking at my other screen. Sorry about that. And, and then I'll, I'll close out of here. I want to make this really quick. But uh, here's our 20 day moving average. Price has not touched that yet. So, you know, it might be working with the exponential moving average a little bit better or so, but uh, hasn't touched. And, and even if we make it to that 40, 25, Maybe I'll try some puts there, but then we have resistance. It looks like a little bit stronger resistance at the 40, 58, 40, 60 area. Um, and then I do suspect we'll make some sort of either back to demand or actually spike through that and then start whoosh, start moving on up. But we'll have to look at that structure as we move down. If that's a nice five wave structure that we see, then uh, we'll start going long. Um, you know, we want to end that off with the five wave structure. If it's if only three waves down, you know, three waves might uh, might be that correction. And then we start heading up, you know, same thing. But uh, we'll keep it day by day. I'll um, update you again tomorrow. Uh, be careful trading out there. Thanks for watching. Options Center. Like the video.